Hi there. Today we want to spend some more time on how to use FastKey's Macro Recorder. We have covered the basics in another video a while ago, but today we'll speak about some useful tips and tricks. First tip. If you start recording the macro and you see that many recording options are disabled, what you want to do is go back and change the type to Command. Now all the recording features will be available. To set the default recording options, you can go to Preferences, Macro Recorder, and enable the options you want. Macro Recorder can record key presses, mouse movements, clicks, and so on. Let's see some examples. If you enable Keyboard Actions, all key presses will be recorded exactly as you type, including pressing shortcuts, Alt, Control key combinations, etc. Next, if mouse actions are enabled, you'll be able to record any mouse movements and clicks. Now the tricky part is that if you're clicking inside the specific window, the position will change if you move the window around on the desktop. In such cases, I recommend enabling relative to window option. This way, the clicks will automatically follow the window position. You see, this now works regardless of if I would move the window or not. Fast keys can also record time intervals by simulating the time or speed in which the action was performed. This may not be a good idea all the time as we usually want to execute macros as fast as possible. And don't worry, you can change this all after the recording. And finally, there's the window action option. Enable this to record activating or closing windows and so on. Now in practice, I recommend that you only enable the options you really need for the task. Start with less options enabled and then add them when needed. Okay, the recorded sequence was saved. Now here I can make the changes as I like. Another possibility is to set the standard time pause to be used between the actions. I think the action list is self-explanatory. You see, mouse click commands, sleep is for a pause in milliseconds, send is for sending text, etc. You can play with the code as you like, and when ready, use it. I hope this was useful. Please consider subscribing. It really helps us in making these tutorials for you. Thanks so much. And I am Milo, the Fast Keys expert and public speaking skills coach from publicdynamics.com, helping you to feel prepared, polished, and powerful whenever and wherever you speak. Check me out too. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next one. Take care.